to a brand new video today we're going to be starting off in the porch area i don't like to say porch because i feel like my area is not that big enough to be a porch it's kind of like a front walkway so this is what we're going to be somewhat decorating we're not doing full blown because i'm going to be keeping the wreath that's on the door i'm just really touching up and recleaning this area i'm just sweeping this walkway right here and our sidewalk and I'm going to be putting down some rugs, some new rugs, because the ones we had in front of the door we've had for a few months. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running around in circles screaming out your name. We have a baby bird's nest like right beside us where that little brick area is. I can't really show you guys, but it's a baby nest of birds, like four or five birds up there. And the mom flies away every time I open the door. So I was trying to be really, really gentle with this area. They had a lot of bird poop and stuff there. So that's another reason before I swept, I used like some warm soapy water and washed this area down. So it looks a whole lot better. And I didn't want to lay down my rugs in new decor with a whole bunch of bird poop. So I wanted to wipe that area down. So now that it's dried up, I've swept everything. I've cleaned everything. Now we're going ahead and get in the windows. Whenever I clean the inside of this part, I always leave the outside alone because it has so much pollen, but today I just could not stand it. Like if you really look, you can look at the napkin and see how dirty the napkin is. Like just from me wiping this, the majority of it is pollen and a lot of just like debris from the weather outside. But I'm just using my spray away to wipe this area down. And I'm so happy because it's just so much clearer and it just, I don't know. Lately, I've been opening up this part of the blind for like the whole time we've lived here, I've always kept this blind shut. So I really didn't notice how dirty it was. But now that the sun's out a little bit more, I want to try and have as much light as I can in the house. So here's an overview. Like I said, I kept the wreath the same. And then I placed these new rugs down. I did get them from Walmart. And my plants, they are my faux plants that I shared with you guys a few videos ago. So you can check that out. I'll have it linked below if you are interested in that. But they've been doing really, really good, you guys. And then I have my real plants and stuff in the house and in the back. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night. Kissing under okay, so it is the next day. I wanted to share with you some things that I picked up from Costco and Walmart. I did decide to go ahead and get another Brooklyn Steel cookware set, you guys. I told you a few videos ago that I really liked the last one. And so far they're doing really good. My goal is to get rid of all of our older pots that we've had for years and replace them with this set and the set that we had two weeks ago. So hopefully I can throw away all my older pots that we don't need anymore. This set, it comes with the eight inch, the 10 inch frying pan, the one quart saucepan and lid. You get a two quart saucepan and lid, a five quart Dutch oven, and five cookware protectors and bowls and utensils. So this one is a 24 piece set. The last one I had was an eight piece set. set. We have the Better Homes and Gardens. This is their bath and hand towel set. I really like this because of the texture of this material. And I'm really debating on where I want to use this. Even though it's in the bathroom, I really want to put like the shorter towel in the kitchen. So I'm going to figure out where I want. I might even put it like over the stove. These are super cute. So I decided to get two of them and these were on sale too. So if your Walmart has these, definitely check out their Better Home and Gardens area because right now ours, a lot of our stuff is marked Next down. Next thing I got was some seat covers for the kitchen table. And I got this blue to go with my theme. I don't know if you guys can tell, but lately stuff something up here but lately my theme i'm kind of switching over i really want to keep the black and white but i just started adding blue into the kitchen so that's what i want to do for the kitchen table over here i'm still debating if i want to paint the tables and chairs white and then have um, my seat covers on those seats and then i got some new placeholders so that i can put it down for, with the table as well I decided to also get these 
canisters. Um, these aren't the exact ones I've been looking for, but they're very similar. And these are from Hand and Earth. I got this, these from Ross. I've been looking for something more of like this material, this type of texture for my canisters. So like I said before, I was gonna check Amazon. They probably have it. The boys are home, so if you guys hear screaming, they're playing upstairs, but I'm gonna check Amazon to see if I can find those. But for right now, these will do for what I want. And then I also got some oranges, chicken, eggs, a few things from Costco. We went to Costco today too, but I already put it up, guys. So this is everything that I have left out right now that I wanted to share with you. So I'm gonna put this away when we get back. Mari has his basketball practice in a few minutes and we do need to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready so we can go because I don't want to be late and practice is in like 30 minutes. It's literally 7.40 and I showed you guys what I got from Costco, Walmart, and Ross. So I'm just going to be putting up some of these things and I figure I would turn the camera on as you guys can kind of watch me put some of these things together. I'll show you an overall look once I'm finished with how everything looks but I'm just trying to decorate and try and get the kitchen how I want it to be for right now. So. So I realized I haven't introduced myself to all of my new subscribers. First of all, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Crescent. I do all things cooking, cleaning, organization, DIYs. So if you like that type of content, definitely subscribe if you haven't. So I found this mason jar under our sink and I decided to go ahead and put the tulips in this jar. I have a set of tulips on the kitchen table and then I have these over here that were extra. So I didn't like the black vase they were in before. So I wanted something clear and I found the mason jar and it ended up working perfectly. You guys will see that I'm kind of playing it to see how I want this to go. Like I don't like it in this area so I'm going to move it around. You will see that in a few things on top of this countertop because I just like to place and play around with different things. So I really need to do an under the sink clean with me. That'll probably be in the next couple of videos. But I found this container and I really think I got it from Target because I have a white one and a mint green one. But I really wanted to see if my flowers would fit in there and they did. So I was super excited about that you guys. And I just felt like it added a little bit of decor or a little bit more decoration to my tulips. The top part of it ended up having like a lot of grease and stuff on it so I did throw that away because I do have another one under the sink. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my fruit in these baskets and clear off these countertops. I want as much clutter like off of these counters as possible. Um, I also moved the stuff that you see in the corner like my knife set, my apron, all of that I took off of the countertops as well. I just didn't show that in the video. But here is a quick overview. I decided to go ahead and put that stove cover or towel cover on top of the stove. And then I also started moving this spoon set, the wooden spoon set over here in the corner. I have my canisters laid out right here which I will still, I still have to decide what I'm going to put in them. Right now I don't have anything in there. They're just for decoration, but I really love the way that this turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and probably get some more flowers when those die and just leave that there. And I just like it because it's so clutter free. It just makes me feel a little bit more at peace, less anxious when I come in the kitchen. I do have these canisters over here and I have like sugar and other spices and stuff in those, but I'm just going to leave that how it is. So we're going back to the same day and I'm just taking everything out of my Brooklyn steel set. I'm going to go ahead and wash these pans and put them away. And that's pretty much going to be it for the video. I'm going to probably stop it here 
and I'll just let you guys watch because I feel like I've talked the whole entire video. So I'm going to let these pots sit here in this rack and dry for a few minutes. I'm going to put them away, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you found some inspiration or motivation or just found this relaxing as you're unwinding. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Happy.